military leader died. All right, should we uh, should we try a battle here? See how they they stack up against our troops. <laughs> you suck, Portugal. Well, you don't suck as hard as I was hoping, but we are still two to one. Still two to one, you jerks. Um, how are we doing over here? You guys, well, it looks like they're, they're making some progress. They're doing some things. Go get them. Do, do, ah, boot, do, do. Ah, uh, Blue Balls Johnson, thanks for the follow. Just in time to see me killing some Portuguese. Didn't you burn down Lisbon? <laughs> yeah, I burned Lisbon to the ground. 100 devastation. Minus two production or whatever it was. I burned Lisbon to the ground at one point. Absolutely gone. It was glorious. One of my finer moments. Possible to join it sometime. Spambuka, just join my Discord. Um, I usually host multiplayers every, every Sunday, every weekend. Um... Yeah, just join my Discord. Hang on, I'll get you a link. And that's where everything is always... Everything's handled through there. There. There's a link to Discord. Um, I mean, we're not... I'm not doing multiplayer games right now because we're... I, I'm kind of, like, waiting for... We did one a little while ago. We did Arma for a while. Um, stack wipe them. Uh, and now I'm waiting for Holy Fury. But when we start up a new one, like I said, if you ever want to join Arma or CK2 or EU4, everything's hosted through there. Portugal, die harder. Okay, I'm going to switch all of my guys to Siege and see if they make some progress if we do that. So I want them to do a lot of this work for me because I'm lazy. That's why I like vassals because they can do a lot of the work for you. Check it out. Problem is that I'm contemplating a big multi-program you for myself on Sunday. Well, that's fine, bud. You know, like I said, and there's always, you know, there's always groups of people who, you know, do their own multiplayers, you know, you know, not just, you know, my official stuff, so. A lot of EU4 players on my Discord. Oh, you know what would be helpful? Putting in a guy that's not a twat here. Then you can go over here. And then you can go over there. Oh, 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 oh. Funsies. Did stay alive, Tunis! I'm coming! Papa Magnus will be there! Uh, I'll take the admin. Time for an idea group, guys. Alright, so, maritime or naval? Naval is tradition. Sailor modifier, global ship repair, uh, sailor maintenance, naval force limit modifier, ship cost, uh, naval leader maneuver, blockade efficiency, ships can repair in coastal sea zones, which is pretty awesome. I think maritime. Fuck it. Maritime it is. Focus right there. Let's go. Where are you going? Oh, you're going all the way around. Oh, Tunis, you beat them before I got there. Oh. Boring. Should have let me join in. Maritime in general is more useful, but if you still want to do land battles, it's best to go religious or economic to stack the combat modifiers. We're going maritime. It's pretty, that, that um can repair in coastal things. It's great. Great. And I've been talking about going maritime or, or naval for like three idea groups now. And I really want to fight the British Navy at some point, and I think I'm, I definitely need a, a better Navy to be able to do that. Go get them! <laughs> nice. Who are you? Oh, he's down here. Oh, God. The Portuguese sent their entire army to Cameroon. Alright, I've got big forts down there for a reason. Idiots. 
right, you walk back up there. You walk back up here. Walk over there. Where'd their fleet go? Oh, the Russians beat me again. Jerks. God bless the AI. Yep, Cameroon. That's where it's going to be fought. hey -oh. We got another one of these guys. Oh, professionalism. The highest professionalism I've had in a while. 27. The Tunisians are not doing half bad. Working out for me. Now it's just like, okay, everybody, do your thing. Oh, nice. Look at that. You gonna get him? Dutch Brazil? I know you'd like some new land. Yep, there we go. Yeah, there you guys go. Good job. Uh, it looks like the Tunisians are, you know, like, avoiding that one province. That's got a fort on it. It's only a level two fort. Just go hit it. Aw, aw. Well, I am building transports down here now to move that army around. I'm going to need so many heavies to fight the British. So many heavies. Well, we're at four of four on military leaders right now. You know what? We've got an extra, like, uh... Nope. Well, yeah, we can boot this guy. Just go on. Just go no leader. We don't need him. We don't need an explorer. I'd rather have a military leader for, uh, training purposes. Not bad. Get on it. You always go influence. Influence is good, yeah. Influence is great. Oh, now they're on it. Oh, okay. All right. Ex influence is great, especially if you're going, like, vassal heavy. Oh, yeah, it's great. You know, uh, you know, a perfectly valid strategy is... Uh, I tend to keep my vassals around. I don't Diplo Annex a lot, but, you know, feed a vassal, Annex, feed a vassal, Annex, feed a vassal, Annex. And just repeat, you know for a while and it's an easy way to get great uh, swaths of land and not focusing so heavy on having to do it admittedly start as as you trying to play candy and be angry to fuck it it will be a series well yeah i tend to get salty in this game because it's a it's a salt inducing game we're at 82 percent now should we just let the guys keep going they're doing a great job now they really are. They really are. Is the confuse gif not working? Sometimes those gif breaks. Those gifs break, and I have to go in and fix them. Should we just? I think we just peace out now. Do 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 do. <laughs> Border gore fixing. Don't have anything siege down here, so they won't let me touch it. But we will fix some border gore over here. Bloop, 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 bloop. Doot, doot. Doot, doot, doot. Doot, 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 doot. Make our colonies touch. The Galapagos for reasons. I think we we kick them out of the Caribbean, like entirely if possible, because these this is these islands are usually really good dev, like ten. Well, most of them are around eight ten when you when they when you colonize them. Great, great, great. <laughs> oh, you know what I could be doing. Here, let's let's try this. Concede the Caribbean. Concede Brazil. Concede Peru. Concede Peru again. Concede Mexico. Where was Mexico on here? Oh, up there. I don't care about that. Is that actually more? 
than it would have cost me before? I don't know. Or is it the same? That seems like it's way more to do it that way. I don't remember what it said before, but let's try it again. Let's do what we did before. Because it seems like that was more. It seems like ta just taking it. If, if we could just take it all, we'll just take it all. And right over here. It seems like it was more. Do you do 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 do? Uh, da, 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 da. If you give stuff to your subjects, it might more or less uh, be more or less left depending on different levels of absolutism. Gotcha. That makes sense. This definitely seems in this instance. This definitely seems cheaper. Just grabbing everything and being like, mine, mine, fine. I'm really more interested in just taking everything in the new world. For board, most, not, not, not for, you know, anything other than mostly border gore purposes. I'm gonna leave them just, just, what, can I take everything? Can I take everything? Can I take everything? Oh, that looks so nice. Doesn't that look nice? <laughs> that's that's a list right there. That's a list. Can you ask a question? Explexo, of course you can ask a question. Should we give it a month and see what happens down here? Because I know some of this uh, Austria is now considered a great power. We need a new doodle. Uh, Malwa, Ming, Russia, Spain. Spain. Or Tuscany. No, Spain. Spain. There we go. Uh, now we just pop through here and we do... Well, actually... most of, A lot of this I don't need to actually co pay to core, I don't think. Like, this stuff over here I should... But, like, down here, I should only need to do five. Is that 13.6 or 136? 13.6. Down here, I should only need to do five, and then it should flip to a colonial nation. So we'll just pop over here, and we'll just do five down the coast. Two, three... Four, five. There, that's five. And then that all pop to a colonial nation. I don't need to worry about it. Dutch Peru's looking much nicer. What is this? Portuguese Peru. Oh well. And then this stuff does need to be cored because that's not a col colonial nation. Uh, was there anything else? Is that is that it? That's a lot of rebels. Oh, no. It's, it's the remainder of the Portuguese garrisons that were down here is all that is. Those are the Portuguese troops that were down here. The country ceased to exist. Their units turned into rebels. Is this Scandinavian? Wow, it is. Looking a little better now. I still got to deal with the, 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 the freaking... British over here, but those borders are much nicer looking. I really wish that Jungle Swamp Germania and Dutch uh, Cuba were orange and not toothpaste green, but what are you going to do? What are you going to do? I'm happy about that. Still number two? Yeah, but I'm, I'm, um, I'm really uh, tickling the taint of the Ottomans there. I'm right on their butt. I'm gonna wait till everything flips and then we'll see where we stand. Uh, Battle Fleet. You need to come home. Some of these. Uh, oh, finished a colony. Yeah, we'll just wait on that. 
You only need to core two of the provinces of La Plata because you already have Dutch Paraguay, which isn't a colonial nation. I think you're right. But I already I already paid for that, and I think I only get a... Do I get a refund if I... I don't even know if I get a refund if I cancel that now. That's not a big deal. You're, you're right, but I, I'm going to... I don't think it's that big of a deal. All right. We are growing law. Ooh, what is this? What is this? Spain and Tuscany. But Spain's going to get its ass handed to it, I think. You do get a refund. It's less than 25, you get a full refund. Okay. Uh, okay, so we got a question here. So, a friend of mine told me he would take humanist ideas every time first and that that's the best I asked myself if it really is the best and another question would be is there any way to say when to take which idea and what are the best ideas um taking humanist ideas i would not say is the best strategy in every instance i would say it's actually not a good strategy in most instances to take first uh, but there is not really, I wouldn't say there's a right and wrong way to take ideas. Unless you're a landlocked nation and you take, like, maritime or naval or something like that. Um, because a lot of times it's going to be situational as to how you're playing, what country you're playing, where you're playing, the how alliances fell and stuff like that. Um, humanist is great if you're moving into a lot of cult, different culture and different religion land, but generally that at that stage in the game most nations wouldn't be doing that so i don't think taking humanist first would be great i would say humanist like is a strong second or third would be a better strategy well you know i'm not the i'm not i'm not the be all end all strategic genius when it comes to this game though so keep that in mind i don't micro really hard um i don't specifically play to meta so that's just my opinion That's just my opinion. I mean, in a lot of instances, you don't need humanist at all. A lot of countries, you're, depending, you know, depending on who you're playing as, humanist would be a complete waste as a lot of countries. Well, not a complete waste, but a partial waste because uh, let's look at humanist ideas. All right, so religious unity plus 25%. If you're playing as a country where you already have high religious unity, doesn't matter. Unrest is always good. Uh, tolerance of heretics. Again, if you are just a homogenous religious country, completely wasted. If you're not doing lots and lots of conquest, years of separatism, not a big deal. Max promoted cultures. Again, if you're not, unless you're blobbing into areas outside of your like home area, not a big deal. Improved relations. That's just an always a good one. Uh, tolerance of heathens. Again, not a big deal unless you're blobbing. And the last one is idea cost, which is just it's just solid. It's solid. So like. Unless, if you're not blobbing and if you're just playing like a tall nation or an, a nation, or if you're like even just like in the HRE, maybe only three of the humanist ideas would be worth it. Go kill Spain? Well, that's an idea. They are at war. Austria is a jerk. So is Tuscany. Well, it's more Tuscany being a bitch at this point. They have blobbed like hell. Like a motherfucker. Hella blob. Some of these navies are a little beat up. Yeah, so some of these guys gotta come home. These were my pirates. Oh. All, oh god, all these fleets need to come home and upgrade. That, oh, I forgot about that. They all need upgrades now. Yeah, he would take it for the 10% idea cost because he told me that you save lots and lots of points to invest in other things if you max it first. 10% idea cost? Okay, so 10% off idea cost is 40, 40 points. 40 points. That's, in the, in the grand scheme of things, 40 points per, per idea is not that big of a deal if you're talking about, like, the whole, the game as a whole. Yeah, it's nice, you know, more points is always nice. But honestly, I would I would say that you're you're hindering yourself taking in 
unless you're playing as a massive nation who's blobbing, you're hindering yourself by taking humanist just to get the capper. Like, if you're interested in saving points, if, if the, the only thing you're interested in is saving points, then you go innovative. Because that's minus 10% tech cost. Techs are, you know, it's techs. And it's got other things that are more useful than a lot of the wasted ones in the humanist group. Prestige. Mercenaries, if you're someone, if you're a country like me, who uses them. Institution embracement cost. You really useful. Possible advisors. Really useful. Reduce inflation cost. Monthly war exhaustion. Leaders without upkeep. And advisor cost. All of those, with maybe the exception of the mercenaries, is going to be useful. Where in the idea, in the humanist ideas, you're looking at things that are going to be much less useful. Your friend is objectively wrong in most instances, I would say. Upgrade, you bastards. Oh, shit. In all this conversation, I forgot about the coring. Ah, uh, never mind. Perfect opportunity to get your French cores back for both Austria and Tuscany. Uh, yeah, if, Fran if Spain can actually put up a fight... If if they could, that'd be that'd be ideal. That would be ideal. Upgrade, 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 everybody! I'm rich as a sultan. I can upgrade every. I think I just missed a fleet. Here, you know, let's just do this. Nope, we're good. Attack Tuscany and Austria for French cores. Ha. <sighs> It would be the time to do it. Spain is difficult to avoid uh, invade. They have tons of morale and their mountain forts are difficult to breach. Uh, I'm going to have to respectfully disagree with you there, though. Because in my experience, France never builds anything other than level 2 forts. I've invaded Spain three or four times in this game, and they've never had anything other than a level 2 fort. If they built higher level forts and they properly blockaded the Pyrenees, then yes, you're right. No, don't join the war. He needs to do separate wars for the right CBs too. Yes. Can you build the Panama or Suez Canal? Uh, am I high enough tech? It's in here. Um, Keel Canal. 30,000. So Panama Canal is 30,000 ducats. And so I can do Panama Canal when I get 30,000 ducats in the bank. You know what? I could I could really use another army too. If we're going to be fighting over here, we need another army. Do it. Do it. You can check where they build forts. Uh, you can check how much morale and discipline they have. Uh, I know there's a way to see forts. There's a map mode for that, isn't there? There's a fort map mode. Two. Two. One. Two. 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 See? You know what? In fact... Okay, so for a second there, I thought Europe had not built very many forts. But there are some level at least sixes in here. Yeah, Spain. I don't know what it is, what's wrong with Spain. I have never, I don't think I've ever seen Spain built any more than maybe a level four fort. But like, level two forts, that's it. Level two forts. That's why I was like, I don't know if Spain's going to be that much of a, uh, a roadblock to these bastards. Because there's nobody there. Uh, I, you know what? I got an army I could walk down there, maybe. No, I'd have to transport them. Hmm, should I do that, though? Maybe I should just do that. While my, while my, aren't my, you know, while I'm, while I'm prepping. Well, a lot of these guys need to upgrade. Their morale should be good. If the, again, if they have any troops in the new world, because the AI still has that issue where it likes to dump troops over in like Africa or Indonesia or the new world and then just leave them there. They might not have any troops over. They might not have any troops in Spain, unfortunately. If I was going to attack someone, Tuscany would be the one to try to attack. The problem is, is they got allies out the wazoo.
Yeah, and Russia and Japan would freaking join in. Well, they brought the Emperor in? To oh, is it just a direct alliance, maybe? Spain, you're fucked. Spain is, is screwed. And we're going to have to send some troops down to South America to deal with some of those rabble problems. Bye, Spain. We hardly knew ye. Maybe if I get the hundreds of thousands of troops, I can just muscle my way through it. Just muscle my way in. So I can intervene. But it would be bad because Spain sucks. Ottomans, how do you feel about me these days if I, like, declared war on someone? They would join in for land. I could get the Ottomans in a land with with Austria. Proxy war through Brittany still available? Ottomans are not interested in that. I, I could just about do it if they didn't have debt and I had favors. Tuscany. So the thing, that the problem with declaring war directly on... The, uh, uh, on Austria is that it brings all the HRE in. I mean, the Ottomans should be able to win that. One would hope. Brittany cleaves Mons on Portugal. Tuscany. Portugal doesn't matter. Ulm, Mons, Cleves don't matter. Brittany I can smack out. What I'd probably do is knock Brittany out of the war first thing. And hope the Ottomans can deal with the oh, oh, oh. yeah maybe the Ottomans Ottomans what are, are really strong. Do it! Do it! Just do, do it. it! We we yes, got a little we got a little prep to do just before we do, do this. We got a little bit of prep to do before we just do it. Oh, where was this guy? Way down there. Not a big deal. We knew that. Ottomans should be able to handle the HRE. Famous last words. I should be able to handle this. <laughs> Famous last words indeed. Won't take much to separate peace out anyone but Austria and Tuscany and the Emperor. But you remember, <laughs> you say that it won't take much to take out pe to, to peace out Austria and Tuscany. That's like half a million manpower. The HRE is small. No, it isn't. <laughs> it's Austria and Tuscany. <laughs> The rest of them don't matter, but Austria and Tuscany is like half a million men. Maybe not that much. Maybe 400,000. Let's take a look. Let's take a look, guys. Uh, rivals. Austria is 140,000. That's less than I thought, but they're out of manpower. That's good. That's good. Um, Tuscany. 280,000. And they have 90,000 manpower in the bank. Yeah, it's it's risky, but it'd be fun. And I mean, what do the Ottomans have? What what do the, what do the Ottomans have? They they got to be top in the world. Three hundred fifty thousand men. I can can I bring another forty thousand? So I got about two hundred thousand men here. A little less than that. Hey, cat. Uh, force limit. The force limit can take another army. Let's do another army. Two hundred fifty thousand. I think that would be enough. Uh, are you guys repaired? Nope, we need two more months. Oh, and you know, we had rebels down here to deal with, didn't we? Yeah. Did these guys finish? 20. Uh, it's gonna take t a couple trips, but... No, that's an island. Well, no, no, we can land here. That's a separate island right there. There we go. Wondrous. Ottomans have debt and might be tempted to leave the war sooner than usual. Uh, can I... I should be able to... Oh, I can't take on the, the debt of a great power? I did not know that. Can I just give them cash? <laughs> like, let's test something out here. Because we should be able... If we do this, we should be able to see. Attitude... Oh, they don't... It doesn't say debt anymore. The main reason is attitude towards enemies. If we do Brittany, it's... Ten favors. See, that would be that would be the best thing right there. That would be the best war. Declaring war directly on Brittany 
and cir circumventing the actual HRE getting involved. You just give them a massive gift. <laughs> That's perfect from the guy called Accounting Dave. <laughs> just throw money at the problem. <laughs> I'm an accountant. Um, how many favors do we have with the Ottomans? Two. So we would be waiting 24 years to do that one. You'd fight your ally Tunis instead, though, and they don't have the, yeah, that many allies. Yeah, that's the thing. They don't have that many allies. Tunis isn't that big of a deal. Should we just... Here, let's, let's stop training. Where are you? Did I tell you guys to go do... Wait, no, that's... Oh, I told them to do the wrong thing. I'm gonna send these guys down south. We're gonna do global naval engagement. This stuff is gonna pop, should pop off soon. Yeah. 200, we got about, what, 220,000 men? Uh, see if they multiple, of course, survive. You can snipe those, the head start. Yeah. I shed the blood of the Saxon men. They have any forts nearby? Well, fort level. Is that in here? They have no forts nearby. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, throw money at the problem. I'm Dutch. It, it, ooh, <laughs> Last time I went to war, I had like 80,000 men in the field. See, this would this is the most interesting war, obviously. This is by far the most interesting war I could do. I know, I'll deal with it. Uh, we should also check to make sure forts are up, are, are, are maxed out. Okay, do we still have that level 2 fort? Yeah, we still have that accidental level 2 fort. Just for reasons. 